Alright guys, today is the day we've all been waiting for. We are going to build something. That something is not going to be something with an engine yet. We will use gravity as our engine because we are going to build a drift trike. Now then, how are we going to do this? I will tell you, I have just the thing. Ah, this one, we need it. I borrowed it from my brother so I hope he's okay with the slight modification of it. So, we first are going to chop this here off and then we add some of this glorious material like so and then we need some more like so and then we're just going to weld this up and then uh, we will see what we're going to do, it will be fine. So, let's chop this thing up. Never forget the safety first and more safety first because otherwise I might end up as cat food. I don't like that. Nice. All right, this we don't need anymore. Maybe for a future project. Now we can try it around, you know. Hmm. All right, next step. All right, <coughs> we need to clean this up a little bit. I know if you can see it, but this is not how I want it to look. So we are going to do a little bit of a cleanup. Uh, and then we will continue, so let's go! Okay, I need to remove this fender real quick because I cannot attach it into my work. Always the one you need. Need to uh, remove the wheel. This, these are not, but I will still remove the wheel. Otherwise, I might burn it when I'm gonna weld it. Wheel. Bender. We don't need it anymore. So now we can clamp it in an orderly way. Alright, so we need to attach one of these uh, in a later point. So I might try to create a shape that holds this very nice, but I don't know how yet. But I think it should be possible. Hmm. It might actually just go straight. Okay. Now I'll be welding this. I guess that. How easy can it be? Never forget to defend. I think... I think I just welded two things together. <laughs> this is nice, but there is a problem. And that is, that if I put the wheel in, something like this, that is like way too long. I cannot sit here because there is stuff in the way. So, we just developed this together, but time can uh, grind it off again. And we make this uh, tube go more like this and then back straight again. 
So, some more grinding. So, uh, better be quick. We don't have any more lights, but, um, this is it so far. So, see you tomorrow. As you may have noticed, I need this sail because we're in the Netherlands and it's always raining here. So we're doing it with this sail today. Right. Last time we have made this little bend here. I've made another one in the meanwhile because it was dark but I still went on so. And um, now I'm working on this terrible piece of metal here. I will show you what's going on here. Alright, let me show you. So, as you might see, this is all ground off. The idea is that I put some bracket in between here because I don't want this to stick out just like this. So, I have cut a little piece of tube and used it as a kind of a yeah, shielding material for here. So, I will do the bottom side now. But as you can see it's like not nice at all because of my welding machine that's just stick welding and you can't or at least I cannot make that very nice. So I'll just weld this over again and then grind it off again so that it yeah, looks kind of good in the end. Also we have some new wheels right here. So these are going to be the back wheels somewhere here. Today we will try to make this all work. Let's get to it some more welding. And some more grinding. Some more welding. Well, that clean out didn't work as I planned, but it's as good as I'm gonna get it, so I'll leave it to this. Now we will have to cut out a little piece of steel for the other side, for the underside, so let's do that right now. It also started raining again. More grinding. <laughs> So the basic idea is that this piece is going to sit somewhere in between here so that it fills up this ugly gap over here uh, but for that we need some more shaping of this random piece of metal so let's do that that's what you get when you work in the garden mud and we don't want that let's shape this thing more grinding Perfect fit. Some more welding. So, 
the thing is finally on here. It doesn't look good at all, but hey, if it works, it ain't stupid, so let's continue. Alright, so the next step is that we are going to weld a plate under here and over here for some more stiffness in the frame because if I'm rolling down a hill and drifting along I don't want to crash because of my frame breaks in half. For that I have this leftover piece of uh, steel. I'll grind one piece off and use that as a connecting thingy. So let's do this. More grinding. two pieces so this plate can sit right here with a nice shape and this one right over there some more grinding You know, this project would be so much easier with a MIG welding machine and thinner cutting discs. But hey, we don't have them, so let's go on. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked what you saw, please consider clicking up here, because that would help me a lot. And if you want to see part 2 of this video, click down here. Because we will add some crazy things, one of which you can see already here. I added some gadgets to the thing. So, please click there if you want to see that. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.